I will play a very experimental concert because I got some space to uh, to play an experimental concert, and I will always take that uh, with love, yeah, because it's it's not something you were always explicitly asked for. It's most of the time the opposite, uh, where people will ask you to do not, not do too many experimental things. This is also very much how I look at this concert as a really a, a meeting with the audience. Uh, it's also a chance for me to, to really ask uh, the, the audience what they think about certain things. And, and for that actually the small scale is also important. I'm bringing five small fragments uh, of, of young composers to actually test uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, that's, that's what is a really beneficial experiment for me, actually, because I will ask the audience um, to help me, mm -hmm. basically. Also choosing a composer that works best when I'm performing it, uh, basically. They all just wrote sketches, but I want to feel how it feels in, uh, in the concert, actually, because that's often a very different sensation. Mm -hmm. Um, and they uh, have definitely also used some some modern techniques, and I explained to them also like uh, multiphonics can be uh, applied also in many different uh, ways and different different styles. So yeah, there's some chemistry with all the composers that I will play uh, tonight from the young Hariamas uh, composers. Um, so yeah, I have a personal bond with them uh, already, which makes it also really hard now to choose uh, the winner amongst those uh, five <laughs> people. <laughs> there will be two composers uh, winning, and they will extend their draft until a finalized piece of about five, six, five to six minutes. Yeah, yeah. Pierchnes mit Fagottes Hilfe. So with uh, that's really hard to translate into English. My God. Uh, this it's a completely wicked piece, uh, clearly suitable for this experimental program because this guy took any experiment he could uh, imagine, obviously. And it's, it's very funny, I, he made it a very, very witty, but also uh, versatile piece. So it consists of many small movements and he tries to uh, make, make the bassoon sound at its best in many different uh, colors of the instrument, basically. There's a lot of uh, uh, classical references, uh, more jazz references, and he gives some space also to make totally uh, crazy um, improvisations, of which he uh, presents some uh, drafts that he drew uh, to inspire the bassoonist. I can show you if you want. I mean, it's a kind of very uncommon oh, writing, I yeah. guess. Uh, for <laughs> I will show this to the audience also tonight. I mean, this uh, is uh, right. <laughs> so to inspire me uh, uh, during the performance. Uh, this is just uh, a series of fingerings. Um, looks as if it's in the middle of a forest. <laughs> yeah, um, and, it, and you have oh uh, about forest. Yeah. Okay. So I get quite a lot of space. Uh, Susan actually just before the concert she, she said I'm sorry I cannot offer you a beer uh, just before the concert <laughs> but then I, I told her uh, I might actually play the only piece in my repertoire where a bottle of alcohol is uh, required for the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see? or let the, I guess it's uh, some Austrian snaps mm -hmm. uh, so yeah let's see how free I feel uh, tonight can only last for 40 seconds so don't worry <laughs> So, yeah, it, it will be really a meeting, a conversation with the audience. Uh, and, yeah, I hope actually that such concerts are uh, a format that actually keeps developing and will be asked for because uh, I like doing it.